So I finally broke down and got this Scott 16 inch Elite Real Mower. Why do I like a real Murray mask? Because it's hard to get that kind of cut with the rotary mower. And also my old son Joe, I think it's time for an upgrade, so let's dig in. Now, this is exciting because the one thing my son Joe doesn't have, even though it's a 20 inch, this is a 16 inch. My son Joe doesn't have rollers, which lays the grass over. So will it stripe my lawn? I don't know. We're going to find out once we get this thing put together. We've got the instruction manual, but eh, who needs that? Now, the reason why real mowers work so well on Bermuda because this little interaction going on right there. This is called the knife bed, and this is called the cylinder. So as the wheels drive this, and this is spinning, you get a scissor action across the blade versus as with the rotary mower, it's actually hitting the grass and rolling it over. It's cutting across the grass in a scissor motion versus a sweeping motion. And this is how you get it extremely, extremely low. And the other reason I went with this model is this guy will get down to a half inch. My son Joe will only go down to a one inch. And so this is how I adjust the height here. Now these guys here, this is going to be how you would adjust the distance between the edge of the cylinder and the knife blade. But... All right, we're wasting time. Let's get this thing put together and let's see if we can start cutting. Now, I did throw the instruction manual away and just may want to keep it. It does have some useful information in like 18 different languages. Just kidding. Just three. Spanish and I believe that's probably French. It doesn't have super detailed instructions on how to put it together because it's very simple. Got a diagram here. You know, if you can read. Pictures, if you can read pictures, you can make this happen. The other cool thing I do like is you are able to completely take it apart. It does give a breakdown of a, on a parts list here. So if you need to order it, you have the parts and which parts you need. If they put it together, you can take it apart and you can fix it and repair it as well. All right, let's get to cutting. This is my 20 inch Sunjo. Obvious biggest differences between this one and this one obviously is the size but on the sun joe you do have these this guy down here multiple settings it's a lot easier to adjust on the fly the cut height whereas with the scots it was a little bit of a bugger trying to get that guy down in there to get this to its lowest setting but the bonus of this one which i like it has the roller. I've been currently cutting this guy off of the adjustment pegs there for the lowest cut. I just cut my grass, so really can't do a side by side cut today. So I'm going to have to come back, let this grow. So then I usually cut about every two days. I'll come back and we'll do a cut comparison. way more appealing sounding to me and i'm sure my neighbors the sun joe it did it did me good for for a good while but it is loud and i like quiet now currently i do have the roller set to its lowest position it's still giving me about an inch between what would be the grass uh, the turf and the knife blade now but aj the box said it would do half an inch. Well, if you read the instructions, pull this cover out, take that off, and the hubs of the wheels can be adjusted for a lower angle. So we're going to do that next. So I've got my trusty Craftsman wrench here, not sponsored, and a socket. I believe that's 13 mil. 
Or put that on there. Oh, wow. Look at that. Lucky guess. Man. See, just because I've been doing this for so long that I just knew that that was 13 without... And I grabbed the one wrong socket. Don't yeah, worry about those. I have a lock nut back here. So I recommend getting a wrench on there for some backup. Now when you take yours apart, you're going to notice there are three holes in this back plate here. And there's a nut right there. We're going to pull this off. We're going to roll this guy. We're going to turn it. And... Put that nut over that hole and put the put the cover back on and tighten it up. Because ideally we want to be able to get down to our lowest setting possible. So there you go. This is what I was talking about. So this guy will roll. That was on its original factory setting. We want to go low. I'm going to bury this thing up to here. Because I only want to do this once. And then I can make all of my adjustments back here. So we're going to get that back on. Quite the difference. <laughs> that will make up... Uh, yeah, that's definitely going to help out. That's after adjusting that guy. And over here you can see I'm still sitting. So now we're going to do the other side. Yeah, we got that baby buried now. We're going to cut low. I'm going to adjust the rear adjustment knobs. Get that up just a hair more. And we're going to go from there. And don't be afraid to mess with this stuff, you know. If it's in the instructions manual, it says you can do it. You shouldn't avoid any warranties, man. We don't do anything factory around here. We always mod and trying different things and trying to get the maximum performance out of the stuff we have. And sometimes even more than it was designed for. You just got to play with it. Just play with it. Play with it. All right. That's my boy Leroy. In the back hollering. All right. Let's cut some more.